Joining us now is a friend of the program. Ladies and gentlemen, some people say that this guy's draft analysis is the greatest that the world has ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mad Mel Kuyper. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, boys. Obviously, uh, elated to be back with you guys. Draft season really starting to heat up right now. Gotta love it. Yeah, you look fantastic. It doesn't seem like draft season's really wearing you down. Not a lot of stress this year. You uh, you using some moisturizer, maybe some Papa Tui from The Rock. You look great this year, Mad Mel. Well, I appreciate that. I'd love to get my hands on some Papa Tui. Uh, I think your cameras are great. Can't really see it. My skin is so goddamn dry. It's ridiculous. Haven't, you know, shaved in, in a couple days because... You know, you get this point of the draft, get up to you know, your third uh, you know, mock draft. You know, you're really just combing through all the fine hairs of the film and everything that the draft Knicks are saying. Because I want to make sure that my mock draft, my next one that comes out, is going to be, you know, the best mock draft I've ever created in my life. Okay, let's talk about a couple of these mock drafts. I, basically, all of the mock drafts now at this point, except for Dan Orlovsky's. Uh, Caleb Williams, number one overall. Uh any change in that? Any thought in that after Caleb Williams' pro day just last week in Southern California? No, not really. I think, you know, Caleb checked all the boxes he needed to check. A lot of people, you know, that last deep ball he threw saying, hey, 60, 65 yards in the air, tight spiral. A couple of the people I talked to who were boots on the ground said really more like an 85-yard deep ball. <laughs> okay, oh, so, so already, you know, t people talk about a laser rocket arm, the likes we haven't seen even from Josh Allen or what? Patrick Mahomes. What? You know, Jordan love right. you know Aaron Rodgers any of those guys uh, but I think the biggest takeaway Pat uh, you know, I know you guys mentioned it a little bit on the show last week we were checking in Caleb you know goofing around with all his teammates a lot of the draft Knicks going into the, the the draft process basically saying hey Caleb's a big time piece of shit okay no one oh, on his team oh, likes oh, him geez. coaches can't stand him players can't stand him I'll tell you what, he looked like the most popular guy in Southern California, uh, you know, after the after the workout, you know, and not only that, I saw nice dap-ups, Ryan Poles, and, oh. uh, you know, a lot of uh, Chicago Bears brass. So, yeah, I think Caleb did everything he needed to do. You know, a lot, a lot of people saying he missed a couple throws here, missed a couple throws there. But as we know, um, those pro days are largely bullshit. What? Okay? Now yeah, they're horse shit, all right? Everything you need, well, and, and again, you know, that's why a lot of people say, hey, he didn't do anything at the combine. That's because he's going to be the number one pick in the NFL draft. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Okay, I agree with that. And what you were saying about what people were saying, that was never you, right? You were never saying he was a piece of shit. That's not what you were Im implying there. You were saying that that's what some people who maybe didn't know Caleb, but only listening to the Caleb Williams team were starting to think when he was like, I want a percentage of the team. I'm mm -hmm. I can only go to this. Mm -hmm. Like all that type of stuff. You're not talking about you, though, Mad Mel. You never thought that. Absolutely not. It's okay. on record. You can go back. I've had Caleb Williams slotted as my number one quarterback, number one player in the draft for – Basically, since he set foot on the field at USC, even before that, when he was at Oklahoma, I said this kid's going to be special, special, special talent. But yeah, as we all know, there are a lot of dipshits out there in the okay. media who, you know, like like to bloviate and kind of bump their gums, and they're maybe trying to, uh, I don't know, harm Caleb's draft stock. That was never me, okay? That was never me. Mm. Of course not you, Mad Mel, man of integrity. Speaking of, Connor's got a question for you. Yeah, Mad Mel, first of all, the hair looks fantastic. You, you seem to be in uh, draft mode here. Uh, I have a question about one wide receiver that hasn't gotten talked about too much, Rome Adunze. How do you feel about him, and do you think that he is the premier player of this draft? I think Roma Dunze is a great talent. Obviously, he's moving up a lot of draft boards. And my most recent mock draft had Roma Dunze going to the Giants at number six. Whoa. I think the biggest issue, mm. though, as, as I've kind of gone back and, uh, and thought about it a little bit more, dug into the tape a little bit, the Giants are expecting Roma Dunze to come in and turn chicken shit into chicken salad. What? Of course, I'm talking about Daniel Jones. I think Gee, at whoa. this point, everyone kind of knows, hey, can't have a beer with the guy. He's kind of a horseshit what? player. Uh, it's just one of those things where do you draft Robo Dudze if you're going to just, you know, shuffle Daniel Jones' ass out of town and he's going to have a different quarterback? I think the, the Giants are probably better pressed to go up and get a quarterback at that oh. six position. Daniel Jones was having a beer just last week, I think, on the air now. Watch, he was at that concert. Yeah, he was singing. Yeah, it was Zach Bryan. He Zach was Bryan, yeah. yes, he was. He was drinking, a, literally drinking a beer yes. with us. Yeah, I actually saw that, Pat. You know, kind of interesting. Uh, Zach Bryan, I believe he's a libertarian country artist. Uh, <laughs> A little bit of an oxymoron to me. That's not exactly what I want out of my country uh, <laughs> musicians. Rather have a guy who's 
you know, cares about rock, flag, and eagle. And that's it. You know, not about the Green Party, not about any of this other bullshit. Um, but, you know, now that you've mentioned it, a little bit of an oxymoron, actually, Daniel Jones, he's big, he's fast, he's got a rocket arm. Uh, but he kind of sucks at football. So oh, so I suppose that's pretty similar to Zach Bryan. Um, I've actually, no, Zach is really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, just, I just mean it in the sense that, listen, I want my country artists raising hell, drinking beer, and praising DJT, okay? So I don't know. I don't know about the libertarian angle. But again, you know, I mean, may, maybe the Giants, uh, maybe they do give, Man, you know, no. Dan Jones another run this year. and and draft Roma Dunze, and who knows, maybe that'll turn him into Eli Manning. I doubt it, but, uh, you know, we'll see what Joe Shade and Brian Dable decide on draft night. We don't know all the political preferences of all the no. incredible nope. country musicians. That's just what I heard. That's just what I heard. I'm not making, you know, not making any leaps and bounds well, here. Well, okay? you certainly did. You Because right, I thought he was going to say Dale. Yeah, me too. I, thought, yeah. I thought he was going to say Dale. Praise Dale. Praise Dale. Dale. Praise Dale. Yeah, yeah, rest, in, rest in peace, obviously. Oh, Matt Bell has respect for Dale Earnhardt. Uh-huh. Uh, that's good news. That's great to hear. Rest in peace. You're damn right. It's hard to find somebody, I guess, that would not respect the hell out of Dale Earnhardt, old no, three. Don Diggs has a question for you, Matt Mel. Yeah, Mr. Matt, uh, you referenced maybe taking a quarterback uh, at six there. I- I'm wondering who that quarterback might be, and, I- and I'm hearing now from these days there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of speculation around J.J. McCarthy. He just had his pro day and showed out. I was wondering what your thoughts are on J.J. McCarthy and all the people saying that he is definitely going to be the, the fourth quarterback off the board, maybe even the third quarterback off the board. Oh. Well, tell you know, certainly possible. J.J. McCarthy is kind of an interesting study because uh, obviously everyone looks to his tape at Michigan saying, hey, this guy's unbelievable. He's a winner. He's a leader. 70% completion percentage on third down. Can really, you know, uh, can really move the chains, which is what you need in the NFL. It's interesting, though, because uh, the more you talk about it, it seems like everybody in the NFL thinks J.J. McCarthy's the best player in the draft well then why the fuck is he gonna potentially go you know 11 overall why isn't he going number one over Caleb Williams I still have a little bit to do to get there with J.J. McCarthy I get great player great leader I know Jim Harbaugh has been basically saying hey he's the best quarterback Mm -hmm. in the history of Michigan best quarterback in this draft but again you know J.J. McCarthy uh at this point you know if you're drafting him I feel like uh I don't know. You're getting you're getting a, a bronze ribbon, okay? You're not you're not getting Jeez. a Whoa. gold ribbon. You got a gold ribbon prospect. Well, sometimes, if you're not the first choice, well, or the second choice, uh, that's fine. Doesn't matter. They just let you in. I'm gonna stop like you right the there. I've heard a lot of that going around recently, and that shit drives me fucking insane. What? Okay, what we're not we're not playing tiddlywinks here. Okay, we're not playing for second place. We're playing to win Super Bowl championships. Okay. So again, when you look at the quarterback slate in this draft class. You know, you got your Caleb Williams, your Jaden Daniels, even Drake May. You know, a lot of people like Dan Orlovsky saying, hey, his footwork isn't quite there yet. His, me- <laughs> his mechanics aren't quite there yet. I did yet. not expect a Mad Mel impression of Dan uh, Orlovsky. Well, yeah. you know, me and Dan are obviously very tight. Uh, you know, we, we we bust each other's chops a little bit. But but again, you know, Drake May is kind of falling in that same realm as J.J. McCarthy. Maybe, you know, needs to sit a little bit, not quite as polished as some of the other prospects. But I do expect us to go on quite the run of quarterbacks in the first round, possibly the top 12 of the draft. We could be looking at six quarterbacks taken. As we know, there are several NFL teams who have a shitty quarterback situation, and you're not going to win a Super Bowl if you're playing with a piece of dog shit at quarterback. Everybody knows it, and that's just the way it goes. Yeah, they're making the NFL. They're not dog shit. No. No, They're just not as good as maybe the elites that uh, can get you Mm -hmm. to a Super Bowl. Matt, Matt, we appreciate your time today. We have one last question from, uh, uh, you know, uh, a friend of yours. Uh, Ty Schmidt has a question for you, Matt Mel. Yeah, Matt Mel, I know we didn't start off on the uh, the best foot last time, so I'd, I'd just like to apologize for that. But I do have uh, a couple of questions about Bo Nix for you. I just, I'm going uh, to stop you right there. I'm not answering any questions from that son of a bitch. Oh. Fuck you, pal. Okay, oh, oh, we're done. Geez. Hang up the phone. I've given you enough time shit to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I told him last time. I said I'm not fucking doing it. Testing my goddamn patience. I'm done. What? Gee. Why does that always happen? Oh Ty, why'd you disrespect this guy so much that he's always going to be pissed off at you for eternity? I know his name's Mad Mel, but the, 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 the just 
visceral towards you yeah. is something I think you've earned. No. You need to look in the mirror and realize that you did this to yourself, literally. I don't think I disrespected him. Well, I, I apologized to start. You know, I thought it was well, very big of me to, hey, better. let's let's let bygones be bygones here. Let's let this just be, you know, a, a water under the bridge, but apparently not. Let's not know. let Mad Mel ruin our vibes. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. That would no, never happen. Because any, anytime somebody, bingo, he, he is a little he, quick trigger. Yeah, a bit. bingo. He taught us a lot, though, there. And we weren't able to connect with AJ uh, before mm -hmm. we were able to connect with Mad Mel from his room. It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His office is always going to so look phenomenal. Immaculate. Let's think about the positives. He said a lot of good things in there, too. Not just super negative, mad stuff like at the very end there. Joining us again, now that we have a connection, ladies and gentlemen, AJ Hawk. There he is. Hey, AJ, 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 we're sorry that you weren't able to be a part of that conversation with Mad Mel. The connection from here, I think it's on our yeah. side. We're getting throttled over there. But Ty needs to look in the mirror. He did this to himself. Yeah, don't you think, AJ? With this yeah, he did. Well, but this one, though, I mean, Ty didn't come out with any animosity. It seemed like a genuine question, and Mad Mel just got lost his mind. So, like, Mad Mel might need to figure some things out, too. Though. Well, we certainly understand. We know that. But his his kind of, uh, you know, his sauce, his spice yeah. is what we love him for. Though. So Mad Mel does not like the cut of Ty's jib. Obviously. No. That is what it feels mm -hmm. like. Is that what you're feeling, Ty? Yeah, a little bit, and that's fine by me. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll still just kind of take the information he's presenting and, and kind of compartmentalize that and take it. But if he wants to be, a, you know, a chicken chip baby all the time, Whoa. that's kind of his prerogative. All right, mine. well, we don't know if that's the case. We <laughs> hope to continue to chat with Mad Mel throughout the entirety of this draft season. We are thankful for it.